Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is in a survey of moss collected from a natural population a researcher found 51 dark specimens and 49 light specimens. The dark moss carries a dominant allele and the light moss are homozygous for recessive allele. If the population is in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, what is the estimated frequency of the recessive allele in the population? How many of the dark moss in the sample are likely to be homozygous for the dominant allele. In order to solve this problem, all we need to know is Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, where frequency of the three genotypes made by two alleles in a population would equal to p squared plus 2pq plus q squared, and all this would equal to 1 or 100%. If you are not used to P and Q letters, so let's use capital A and small a to designate dominant and recessive allele. So P squared stands for the homozygous dominant genotype, 2PQ stands for the heterozygous genotype, and Q squared stands for the homozygous recessive genotype. And we are told that moss which are dark, so it have to be one of these genotypes. And in the population we have 51 such insects who are dark, and that means that they have at least one dominant allele. So we have 51 insects. And we also have uh, insects that are light, and number is 49. So 51 plus 49, would give us 100. So calculations should be very easy because we have very convenient numbers. Actually, next step would be to find the frequency of um, dominant and recessive allele. Again, we have alleles P and Q here. And for the P allele stand dominant allele A, and for the Q stand recessive allele A. If we add these two alleles, we are going to get 1 or 100%. So just remember that 1 equal to 100%. If we need, um, if we need to do calculations on the percentage scale, we just have to multiply by 100. And vice versa, if we are given uh, numbers in percentage form, and we need to do calculations on the scale between 0 and 1, we just have to divide all our numbers by 100. For our following step, we have to take homozygous recessive genotype, which is here, because we know that this genotype is made and phenotype is made by homozygous uh, recessive genotype, which is frequency of uh, recessive allele multiplied by itself. We cannot take for this first step uh, of our calculations dominant phenotype because uh, some of it would be made by uh, heterozygous genotype which contain recessive allele. So if we know that homozygous recessive phenotype equal to Q squared, uh, that means small a, small a genotype, we can find frequency of the recessive allele we just have to take a square root of this number. Let's convert it into the frequency, and the frequency would be 0 0.49 and 0 0.51. I just divide this number by 100, as I explained here. And basically, we just have to take a square root of 0 0.49 and we are going to get 0 0.7, which is going to be frequency of the recessive allele Q, or small allele A. If we know that the frequency of the recessive allele is 0 0.7, and we have only two alleles in our gene pool, we instantly know that the frequency of the other allele is going to be 0 
Now let's find frequency of the homozygous dominant genotype. This is one of the questions. Um, if a population is in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, what is the estimated frequency of the recessive allele? We have found it is 0 0.7 in a population. How many of the dark moths in the sample are likely to be homozygous for the dominant allele? And the answer would be, so P squared stands for the homozygous dominant genotype. And we know that the frequency of the P allele is 0 0.3. So 0 0.3 squared. And this is going to be 0 0.09. Or again, if you need an answer in percentage form, we have to multiply by 100. And we can say that the frequency is going to be 9%. This is going to be frequency of the homozygous dominant genotype. And uh, some of you also may wonder why, for example, here uh, we just multiply frequency of the dominant allele by itself. And why, for example, here we just multiply frequency of the recessive allele by itself. And here for the heterozygous genotype, we have uh, to multiply by two. Many are confused why we just um, not multiply frequency of the dominant allele by frequency of the recessive allele. So 0 0.3 by 0 0.7. If you would do all such calculations, you would find that you would never get a one or 100%. And here's why. Take a look. If you have a frequency of the dominant allele in a population, here is the frequency of the recessive allele. We can find all the different combinations that uh, such a cross. And there are different combinations, of course, possible in a population. So here we would have capital A, capital A, capital A, small a, capital A, small a, and small a, small a here. And as you see, this part here is what we have here. And this part here is what we have here. And we have heterozygous genotypes that appears here twice. You see? So this is the same as um, two capital A and small a. That's why we have two here. Do not forget that heterozygous genotype, we have to multiply by two. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.